Hi everyone, I found a cool way to uh, make shop couplers <clears throat> using 3D printing. Um, if you ever tried this before, you probably know that uh, it, it always comes out imperfect and it's out of balance. But here's a shop that I made. It's pretty well in balance, but uh, not quite perfect. The impellers inside have their own sort of imbalances. Um, but the shaft coupler is the thing I want to show off. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's just a 3D printed cylinder. Uh, this particular one adapts two different sizes, so the holes are different sizes. But uh, each time I did this, I always ended up with uh, a lot of vibration. Um, and here's one that I just freshly printed. And uh, this is a little bit of an, ex of an experiment where I'm adding some material in a curve here to uh, make this a little bit more pliable here in the middle. Um, but the, I don't expect it to be that much different. But the main thing that I want to show you First, let's just see how this runs right off the printer. So a lot of, a lot of vibration. Whoa! Knocks something off my desk even. That was almost a disaster because it was this thing and all those pieces almost just went everywhere. Nice. All right, so the secret trick is a blowtorch. See, I messed up. Oh, well, that's pretty good. So it was still a little bit warm, and when I moved it around just now, it uh, got back out of alignment. putting all my safety stuff. So again, the balance is not perfect, but the majority of the imbalance that you're hearing right now is going to be from the impellers and the other stuff I 3D printed that's in here. But this uh, shaft coupling idea is going to come in handy, and I hope it helps someone else out too. Bye.